command this pain leave her so she doesn't need that thing anymore in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now, complete and total miracle. Move that leg up and down. What happened? You, <laughs> she says, oh, yeah, I can move it. So come here. Come here. Let's show, show them what you, you couldn't do this before. Remember, to receive from the hand of God, you have to touch the heart of God. In order to touch the heart of God, it's done through worship. In your worship right now, you'll be made whole. In your worship right now, you'll come into contact with what we talked about at the beginning of the service. Right here, right now, you're only moments away. I said you're only moments away. He's about to make a way where there seems to be no way. Are you ready? You're about to see a powerful demonstration of God's Holy Spirit's power. Are you ready to see it? Stand on your feet. Lift your hands. I want you now in this moment, forget about all that you're struggling with. We're just going to worship him until something changes. Are you with me? I said, are you with me? We're going to worship him until that sea opens. We're going to worship him until he makes a way where there seems to be no way. Tell him, you're a mighty God. You're a mighty God. Say, you are able. You are able. Now lift your hands and pray in the Holy Spirit. Come on. Just get lost in that worship, just worship. Heal her knee in Jesus' name. And when you when the anointing's flowing, you just gotta go right for it. Come here, give me your hand. In Jesus' name. I command this pain to leave her so she doesn't need that thing anymore in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now. 
Complete and total miracle. Move that leg up and down. What happened? No, but what happened now? You <laughs> she says, oh, yeah, I can move it. So come here. Come here. Let's show, show them what you, you couldn't do this before. You're not supposed to walk upstairs, but you are. And was there pain before? Yeah, yes, yes. Well, come on, let's do it again. Come on. See, and you're, you're a little shy about this, but is there any pain? No, no pain, no pain. Look at this. Okay, go sit down. She was right there on the front row. I said, I can't be looking at that the whole night. All right, what happened over here? Pastor David, this is Coco. Her name is Coco. She has had... This is amazing. She has had arthritis in her hands for 25 years. She no longer has pain. She had surgery on her foot, and the pain is completely gone. It's real. It's real. <laughs> so what, what happened to you while you were out there? Uh, well, my foot started healing before the gentleman or, or prayed on me, so it was already starting. And then... When he prayed on me, I fell back, and all the pain was released. It's real, guys. Praise yes. Jesus. It's, it's real. It's real. It's not. And it was in your hands? First, every finger. It's amazing. It's, ama it's real. And it was in your foot, too? Well, what couldn't you do with your foot before over pain? I had plenty of surgery, and it healed improperly. And, and the pain is gone. But it was gone before before it's I can tell when they're starting to fade away and you just say okay you've had enough of this Lord I pray let that never come back in Jesus name in Jesus name after every miracle we see we need to worship him okay what else do we have brother David she had a pain in her right hip for the past two years where she could not move her leg or her hip. The power of God came out, and now she's able to lift her leg and rotate her hip. I, I was in a lot of pain every time I opened my right. What couldn't she do before? That was very painful. I, can, I don't know if I can even do that. <laughs> You're a what? I'm a swimmer, so it was very hard. It was very difficult to do that, and you've had that for, he said, two years. It rained, and I feel fully awake. I was always tired, and he put his hands over me. Feel like light as a feather. Yeah. She said, I just feel as light as a feather. Man. Do you love sickness or what? Just the power of God. Hey, Atticon, come here. Leave her there. Let her soak in it for a little bit. Come here. You feeling that all the way in your seat, huh? You ever felt anything like that? This is one of the, the guys who came with me today. He's never, he says, I've never been to one of your miracle servants. I evangelize too. Feel the presence of the Lord? Lift your hands. Close your eyes. He's believing for healing, but it's personal. Feel him, Lord. Feel him, Lord. Now what I want you to go do, go and check. Go and check what you needed a healing for. And then come back. Hallelujah. Pastor David, this lady right here she had excruciating pain in her jaws today uh so as she was worshiping the pain lord let the left glory to God. flow Hallelujah. over her body right now make her completely whole guys i'm telling you it's it's palpable up here i i didn't i didn't even really hear what he said but i can feel the presence of the lord here we're in a different place now guys do you want this? Leave her there. There's some room over here. Brother Rene. Brother David, this lady had a pain in her neck for over 10 years. As they prayed for her, she felt a pop in her neck. And now when she moves her neck, she feels no more popping in her neck. God has completely healed her. So what was that from? You can give the Lord a hand of praise for that. Um, I don't know. Um, but it was making my head hurt too, and um, but my my. She, she can't even. She can't even do it. She can't even do it. I'm telling you, she can't even get through it. Mm. 
It's like a thick cloud over this place. What happened over here? Pastor David, this lady right here, in 1988 was diagnosed with gallstones in her stomach. And she said that as we were worshiping here, she said that she felt pain in her stomach. And you said to place her hand on her stomach. She did it. And she said every stone is gone. She can't feel it anymore. You can't feel the stones. I just kept in the middle of the service. I was having sharp pain. I thought I was going to ask my friend to bring me to the emergency room because it was hurting so bad. And then you said, put the hand on where it is. And it was, I was having pain even when I put my hand. Now it's gone. Pain is gone. <laughs> what? I didn't want surgery. Well, go back to your doctor, have them check you, and I believe God's done a miracle for you in Jesus' name. What happened? <laughs> he, he's kind of freaking out right now. He's all, it, it worked. It worked. <laughs> Can you tell them what, what, what was wrong with you? I had a stress-related disease called alopecia areta. So basically, like, I have to keep my hair long because I would get bald spots due to stress related the, d the disease and right now when I felt it go away I went out and I felt my hair growing back very fast hey he's gonna need you over here Patrick and what else it's, I I just felt it go away and now I don't feel like this you can see it on him can't you don't touch his body in Jesus name fill him with the Holy Ghost I pray all right, what happened here? Is this one powerful? I can see it. Bro Brother David, in 2006, she was in a car accident. And it struck her where she could not move her arms or raise her arms up tonight. Today, she felt the power of God go through her. And now she's moving her arms and her neck that was affected by the accident in 2006. In two th since 2006? Yes, sir. She's not been able to raise her, arms. raise her arms. Can you show the people what Jesus did for you? Put those arms up. Touch her, Lord. I thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost going through her. Yeah. And nothing is impossible for you. Nothing is Come on, tell him. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.